Okay, so you know that, <coughs> because I mentioned them earlier, Radiohead, there's this, you know, this song. Uh, like nondescript, you know, four, six, five, four. I was trying to go like, why isn't this boring me? And I figured it out, it's because it's an irregular, it's an irregular length, this thing. It, it, it's like, it's this gently shifting floor underneath you. And it like seems, it's like very restful. It's like, maybe it's like a feather bed, but the thing just kind of like, rotates in a funny way, <laughs> so it like always kind of keeps you guessing. <laughs> something even it's an odd number of bars but it's also totally and this is important even though it's even though it's surprising you get the sense that this is ex it's still exactly right you don't get the sense that they're just messing with it to mess with it there's something about the song that that works they just they figured it out it was like here was here's a slightly odd thing that has a sense of inevitability to it <laughs> same. So they're relying on this, that odd phrase like the five count to keep, to keep me interested in it. And there's also the great, that this is a great rhythmic pattern. That, if that was all it was and it wasn't the irregular, irregular thing, I might get bored with mm -hmm. as much as they do it. And then, right at that instant where you're like, okay, yeah, I, I, you know, I, right at that moment where I was like listening to the song going, oh, it's, it's like a long, it's like a long five, and that's why it's kind of like slightly off kilter and like keeping me interested. And like right when I figured that out, and if they'd done it again, I'd have been like, okay. <laughs> Right, right when that's about to happen, all of a sudden they go, and they've gotten really far afield here, like from where your all your notes are coming. All of a sudden you're here. That's pretty far. And you got there in a really sneaky way. They took this and they introduced this note. This one's still, you've been you've been right there. Right? You've been there. So all they've done is raise this one by a half step to give you this like. C sharp minor feel when this whole thing has been basically an E minor. This is just mm, right. It's like, but it, but it's not that different. But it's so different. Like all they've done is gone from here. That's where they were gonna go. They kept the top note the same, like the sort of money note of the chord, and then just moved. 
the other two up. One. drive the point home that we've gotten to a new place. And then they do this. And then they start this. Outside A's, even though they're like they're comfortable, there's this one little thing that kind of sets it off, and then and then right at the end, they rip the they rip the rug out from under you, and you're like kind of like sailing through it, and then they they like they catch you, you know, with an equally soft warm thing, with this thing, and we're still, you know, we're still like unstable. chords have been moving almost all at that same rate. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. You know, so and they give you those couple moments where like you you hold on this one for twice as long. Four, two, three, four, one, two. And it's such a great moment, right? So at the very end of the song, I think capitalizing on the fact that when you stay on those chords for twice the length, that like at the very end of the song, they do that. I, I listened to that song and I was like, why? This this song, it, it kind of like goes on and like, why does it get me? That's amazing. Why does it get, yeah, so that's, that's like, there's why.